Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and this is a love reading for the collective. So if it resonates, great. If not, you know, whenever it resonates, if it ever does. But um, I do have openings for personals, and like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. Hope you do stay. I'd love it if you would. So I'm trying to set this up a little different, but I don't know how that's going to play out. So maybe somebody's thinking that, like, they need to, like, set something up a little different. Like, I need to take a different approach towards another person or whatever. But someone is really worried about a reading. They're really worried about some type of spiritual messages and stuff. They could be seeing a reading online. I mean, if you're watching me, you are. And I picked up on that before, but before I even sat down to hit record, I was still, you know, I was like, you know, what do I need to know about this, this love message? And, um, the song that came on was, oh my gosh, now I can't even remember. It's by Katy Perry and Juicy J. This one was the dark night in it. I but anyways, like when she's like, the video is her, she's in Egypt and stuff. It's basically like, if you're going to love me, then you you need to, or you'll pay the price or something. So like karma and stuff's involved, but it, it's either you're in or you're, you're either in or you're out. So maybe somebody's worried that, um, you don't want to deal with them anymore, but because I feel very enthralled, but I feel worried about some type of message. There's information or messages, because we have messages here, that could be happening online. Somebody's seeing this, whether they're spying or not. It's like I'm learning something, I'm hearing something, I'm figuring something out, and it's worrying, it's worrying them, whoever it is. And it definitely could be, um, spiritually speaking, because we have enchanted forest here, and exploring spirituality um, and meditation is significant. So I don't know. I almost feel like somebody could be waking up to their own spirituality, to their own intuition and things like that. And they could be very worried because they're seeing things differently. Like for example, if you're unawakened and you're watching tarot, you might not get all the messages because you're just going to see everything at face value. You know what I mean? And if you're more enlightened, if you, if you've ascended, if you, if you're woke, um, you're going to see more than what someone who isn't <laughs> will see. You know what I mean? Like you'll, you'll have a better understanding. Someone's having a spiritual understanding and they're very worried about some type of conflict or they don't want, they don't want to fight with you. They don't want to create conflict. I don't know if this person created conflict for you and now they're worried because, um, they might get caught. They might get found out. I don't know. It's like, why did I, why did I fight this off? Why did I fight you off? Is it too late now? That's in here for someone. But it's also like, I don't know. Somebody's worried about some argumentative energy. They might want to apologize for creating conflict because I don't know. Someone's seeing the light now <laughs> and they weren't before. <coughs> it's really what it feels like. Cause we have recognition here as well. Strong chemistry red strings strung together. So this person's very, um, pulled towards you. There's like a sense of magnetism here. I don't know. I feel very enthralled. I feel like I'm figuring something out and I'm like, whoa, why didn't I see that before? Someone's worried about some information, which I kind of want to see what this information is. Like what someone's so, so concerned with, which, what should I use? All right. So what is this? worry about letting go of what no longer is serving you it's cleanup time some of you are cleaning house you could have let go of someone like oh I'm just I don't want to fight with you or anyone I'm just gonna let go of this because it could have been a battle between the two of you like to connect with whoever this is and it's like <sighs> I don't know, someone made something very difficult and I feel like you're just cleaning house now and they're not, I don't, I don't think they, they, they like it. Um, for others of you, there's someone who wants to clean up a mess because they created a bunch of conflict for no damn reason. Um, empty feelings, boring routine. Yeah, robotic heart. Someone was bored and they could have created a level of drama. 
misunderstandings, judgmental, and confusion. Someone was very confused by either a level of secrecy or spirituality because they weren't awakened, which is what I said. I feel like I want to apologize because this was all a big misunderstanding. Someone created a problem and now they, they're regretful. They're regretting a problem that they created or that they were involved in because because they're seeing um, they're seeing the truth. There's clarity here now and there's a level of fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. Like, I don't know, I wasn't looking at you that way before, but now I am is what it feels like. Um, so let's see. And then we have wish fulfillment. Somebody could be seeing that your wishes are coming true uh, or that I just heard that they're not your wish anymore. You might have been wishing for someone like, oh, this would be great if it worked out. And some of you could have changed your wish due to betrayal and rejection. <sighs> Somebody reject rejected you and hurt you. Um, could be a friend of yours, someone younger than you. Somebody rejected a wish. <sighs> They didn't want your wish to come true or they didn't think that you were their wish or something. Um, and I feel like you're moving in a totally different direction now. And someone doesn't, they're worried about that. I saw this too late. The Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This Queen of Cups could be recognizing who you are to them or you're looking at a Queen of Cups. One or the other. Red is very significant, the color red. Um, that can stand for passion and stuff, but whatever that means to you, you're the one. You're the one for me. Someone's seeing that. Like, you're the one for me. Someone feels stupid. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They feel, they feel foolish for something that they did or said, their actions. Um... So what's going on with this person? They feel foolish for their actions. Someone took a chance and they took a bad chance because the seven of swords has to do with lie, like lying, cheating, stealing. Could have a sexual component here. Someone doing something for attention. Um, I just heard someone thought you were lying to them. Because they're used to getting lied to. They want to apologize for that. Whoever this is wants to apologize for being so elusive and sneaky. They could have manipulated the situation. So what's going on? I also feel for some of you, what's going on with this person right now is they're healing from a level of betrayal because um, there could have been a Queen of Cups. Cancer keeps popping in my head, but it could be any, it could be any sun sign. They could just have cancer in their chart, or this happened during cancer season. But um, there's also someone tied to the situation who had cancer, like the disease, the illness, um, the devil. Oh, there's a, <laughs> could be a Capricorn too, but there's a, um, someone was dealing with an unhealthy person, potentially a Cancerian, not necessarily, but it's like being tempted by lies, fearing that everyone's the same, being tempted. This person could just fall for temptation. They're very secretive, so they could have a lot of partners. But I feel like there's like cheating energy here. So whoever you're dealing with or you dealt with, they weren't seeing the whole picture because of whoever they were dealing with and what has been done to them. But I feel like... <sighs> Left you waiting. Someone thought you'd just always be there. I'm just going to say. And I don't feel like you are. I feel very confused all of a sudden. So someone might be confused about their own situation or what's going on. Or you're confused about this person, what they want. You know, whatever it is. But 
It's like you're looking towards the future, whoever you are, or that's what they're doing. Because everything around this person seems kind of dark, except for the ball, you know, that she's holding the crystal ball. It's like, all right, I see, I see what's coming up ahead. I see what's going to happen here. You might have seen what was going to happen in a situation and you ended it. Like, I'm not dealing with so-and-so because I know what's coming. But... Whatever's going on for this person, there's someone else who saw, like, oh, you might not be seeing very clearly, but I see what's going on here, and I see that your future could be bright. You could be finding your empress, and I don't want, I don't want that. So they could have been led astray and lied to. Someone was deceived and tempted in a different direction because somebody else didn't want didn't want some future prediction or something to come to fruition. Like, I don't want to see you with so-and-so, so I'm going to screw this up. I don't know. Somebody screwed something up. And they might want to apologize for that. But, all right. What is... Give me more on the Seven of Swords and the Devil, please. Actually. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize for that. They could have toxic behaviors as well. Um, I feel like I'm holding back and I'm lying because I don't want... I don't want to be tempted. I don't want to get hurt as well. Clouds, temporary problems. Yeah, well, that's over the Seven of Swords. Jeez. And Tower. There's a Tower moment here, definitely. This is a good Tower, though, in this deck. Solid foundation, success with effort. Yes, okay, this would be a very successful connection between you and this person. And I don't know if they were fully seeing it at first. They might be seeing it now. And maybe that's why they're worried about a reading or information or something. I feel like it's an outsider that was worried about something. Like, I don't want good things for you. I don't want your wishes to come true. But <coughs> these lies, this deception, <coughs> clouded judgment was a temporary problem. So if somebody was just creating blockages for you. They couldn't. Someone was temporary blocked. And clouded by a bullshitter, by someone who's a pain in a rear end. Because I feel like I'm telling someone, oh, this won't be successful. This connection's crap. It's just leading you astray. It's going to screw, screw you over, screw you up in some sort of way. But it's a lie. Someone was lying because they didn't want you to be successful. Or they didn't want whoever this is to be successful. Yeah, that's like... Someone was fogging someone's ass up, basically. And it could be a Cancerian that was doing that. Someone that they were connected to in some sort of way. They could have either been a choice between you and them. Or, yeah, they're very stressed about it. Or that's just someone that they dated in the past. So that's like a love connection. They're connected to this person through love. Um... person's a pain in the ass okay so what else is going on for yeah there were heavily there's heavy manipulation here time for a nap so you're taking a break from this person or they're taking a break from you i feel like they're just taking a break period trying to figure things out for themselves Building blocks. Yeah, something wasn't working out. Temporary problems. This connection didn't get off the ground or something's not working out for whoever this is at this time. Um, so if they were trying to build a relationship with someone that's not for them, like if they fell for temptation, basically, that's not working out. Because um, for some of you, whoever you're dealing with could have gone to someone or back to someone who's not for them. Um, someone that they... I don't know, I feel like I'm taking a break from you, from everything, and trying to rebuild with the past, but it's not working out. Whatever they're working on is not working out, because it's not meant for them. They're not meant to be with whoever that is, though. they're just not meant to do whatever this is. Uh... Someone didn't want something to work out for you. Or them, both of you. Soulmates. Yeah. You're very connected to whoever this person is, but I feel like they were led astray or you were led astray because of lies. Like, yeah. Okay. 
somebody was dealing with someone that they took a break from or they broke up. That they, they, I don't know. They either broke up with this person or they were on a break or some crap. Whatever that is. Like, it's someone from their past that they're connected to in some sort of way. Um... And I don't know if they wanted to rebuild with them. It's just not working out. If that's something they're considering. Or if they tried and it's failing. Because I feel like it didn't work before. It ain't going to work now. You know, like the, uh, there's a, a sour relationship here, basically. But I kind of feel like... What this feels like to me is if you're connected to a Queen of Cups who isn't unhealthy... You could have been led to believe that this person was just tempting you that they're a problem. You could have literally slept with them. Not like in a passionate way, but like night-night. Slept beside this person or stuff. There's something to do with sleeping. Sleep is very significant. You could connect in the dream space, but they could have slept over or something. Or you slept over. I don't know. There's some type of connection when it comes to that. Like you, I don't know, you... You were in their space when they were sleeping. Or you've been in their bedroom or something. But it doesn't feel sexual. And then... The temporary problems and clouded judgment is lies. Like, oh, this won't work because of blah, blah, blah. Like, whatever someone's saying was basically making someone feel like... This isn't worth building with this person. It's not going to work because of this, that, and the other. But that was all a lie. Because you're actually soulmates with this person... And suddenly they're figuring out that this is a solid foundation, that it would be successful, that they were tempted away from success. It's like, I was pulled away from something beautiful because of you, because of this, because of lies. That's what that looks like to me. Three of Wands. And I feel like most of you are just looking ahead, looking towards the future. Like, what's coming in? There'll be brighter days ahead, and there really will be, because a wish is coming true, even if it's not. I just heard she is my wish. So there could be a masculine who's wishing for a female. Um, she's my wish. People could be fighting over wishes, I'm just saying. Like, oh, you're wishing for so-and-so? Well, th that person's my wish, so fuck you. Like, it's kind of feels like for some. Um... The number three is very significant. Yeah. Waiting. It's a karmic cycle going round and round and round. Just waiting for things to change. Someone saw the pattern in a situation and broke it. Like, I'm not going round and round in this crap. Because whatever was going on between you and them, no matter why they were doing what they were doing, what they were lied to and all this confusion and crap... It's still a karmic cycle. There was like unhealthy patterns in this situation. And it's like, okay, if you're not woke to this and it's just going to keep, history is going to keep repeating itself. I'm looking towards the future and I'm going to end this. So I feel like um, you're not waiting for whoever this is anymore or they're not waiting around. They're just, they're focused on forward movement. And someone might feel like chop wood because of that. So let's see. Why do people have to cause problems? It's like, mind your own darn business. There is love here, because I was just going to ask, what is this person's intentions and feelings towards you? So, um, I do feel like there's a lot of self-love here. I'm going to start sneezing for some reason. Somebody could deal with allergies, um, or they have a cold going on. But regardless of that, I just heard I'm allergic to love. That's funny. Uh, somebody might be holding back or they were holding back their love because they're allergic to it. <laughs> like it's, woo, this is too much. This does feel like self-love. So I feel like you or them, whoever this is, is focused on, you know, just pouring love into themselves. So it's like you're holding back. You're not willing to just give your cup to anyone. So if you did offer love to someone, to whoever that person was, um, I do feel like... It's like, I don't offer this to everyone. You got just a sip. And I feel like the sip was just magical. It's like, wow, this is like, an, uh, I don't know, 
an outpour of emotion and love. It's like, wow, you're so, like, it's kind of intense. You know what I mean? Like, this is a lot of love, but it was just a sip in reality. It's like, yes, I have feelings for you and I offered it, but I love myself more. I love myself enough to know who deserves it and who doesn't. And, you know, if you're going to take one sip and then all this crap happens, I'm going to take it back. You know that you shouldn't that you shouldn't give it away to everyone, no matter what we're talking about. And I feel like you don't. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with doesn't give their heart away freely either. I feel like they, they're holding back their emotions. So this person does have love for you. Uh, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, not necessarily. Now my eyes twitching, like right here, it's driving me nuts. Um, I feel like they do have a lot of love for you, but they're holding back. It's like they see the potential, but it's like, I don't know. I feel, I don't feel like they're taking action, at least right now. So give me more on their intentions and feeling. What the? Justice. They might want to apologize. some type of balance coming in as well like a sense of reciprocity they want to give to you like they want to match your efforts or something or they're considering it they would match your efforts we're trying to figure something out we have the two of wands should i let go or This person doesn't let go of you, the idea of you, or whatever this is. Um, they don't know which direction to go in. They're facing one direction, though. Like, they could do this, but I'm facing over here. So it's like they know what they want to do, and they're just holding back their intentions. They're holding back their feelings. It's like the drag is just sitting there like, all right, dude, which way are we going? <laughs> He's like, well, I want to go over there. I want to go towards the love. But can we just sit here for a minute? I don't know. It's very restrictive energy. They could be being held back because of another person. But um, I don't feel like this person really knows what they want right now. Five of Pentacles. Well, there could be a financial loss here for them. Or they're trying to move away from a sense of lack. I don't know. They're facing love. But they're still holding on to nothing. That's what's going on with this person. And it's time for them to move forward. And it could have something to do with work, but I feel like they want to work together with you um, or with another person, whatever. You want to work together with them. Because that's, that's what this feels like when it comes to love and intentions or their feelings and intentions. They do, they know that this is very balanced. That, you know, this would be a very giving, wonderful connection. Like, th this is beautiful. You're beautiful. This is beautiful. They love the feelings tied to it. Even if it's a little confusing and, and scary, it's still, I don't know, they like it. But they're holding back all of that. They're not saying crap about this. They're facing, they're facing their feelings. They're facing the love in this situation. It's like, this is so beautiful. This is what they're holding back from you. It's like, I want to hold on to all this love. I want to hold on to this, but... But you can't move forward towards this beautiful connection if you're still holding on to someone or something that is not even there. Someone could be holding on a pa holding on to an ex, a past person, uh, past situations, whatever. There is a sense of lack with this King of Pentacles. They might be feeling like they don't have enough money. They just don't have enough to give. They don't have enough to offer. So it's like I got to hold on to everything I have because I don't really know what I can give, what I can offer. But I also feel like there's someone who is literally holding on to nothing. Like, oh, well, I wish I could go back to this. There's nothing there. That person doesn't want them. And even if they did, it would just be a repeated cycle and it would just be crap. It wouldn't be fruitful. So it's almost like potentially making the choice to let go of something extremely wonderful just to repeat history and get hurt again. Um, yeah, that's what that feels like. So they do have feelings for you. They're just, they could be tied to a baby mama um, 
or someone they have children with, male, female, doesn't matter. So give me more on the Ace of Cups and Justice, please, for the feelings and intentions. This person, I don't know, they're just very, they're very guarded. Um, they're holding on to whatever, to what they have and whatever they, they get because I feel like things usually get taken from them or they get taken advantage of because it's almost like my kindness gets taken advantage of all the time. I'm not, I'm not going to just give it out all willy nilly. You know what I mean? I don't want to be taken advantage of, but this person, I feel like deep down, they know that you're not going to hurt them like that. It's just history says, so they are walled off. Um, and they could be acting kind of greedy because when you have nothing, you tend to hold on to everything. You know what I mean? So this person might be holding on to a lot of past crap too as well, which is what's um, stopping them from moving towards you at least right now, um, or what stopped them prior. Well, twin flames, they could be recognizing this because we have recognition here. Um, balance, yeah. There's definitely a strong connection here. They might be opening up to that, like, within themselves, because I don't feel like this person's saying anything to you or whoever, but I feel like they do feel very connected to you. <sighs> Could also be a twin. Um, Cupid's arrow. And the runner. What did I say? Trying to make a choice, holding on to lack and looking at love. It's like, well, I'm staring love in the face. I'm, I'm still holding on to all this bullshit. Um, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. They're very hesitant, even though Cupid shot him in the rear end and they ran away. They potentially ran back to a codependent situation or relationship because that could be what they're hanging on to, like the past or something. They were listening to their ego and I feel like too good to be true energy. So you're dealing with Forrest Gump. He put on his running shoes and just hauled ass out of the situation. Um, this person also might be making a decision to start running towards you, towards something new, towards someone new. I don't know. They're holding on to just unhealthy patterns and behaviors is what it feels like. King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. That's not it, is it? No. Okay. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. This feels like too good to be true energy for some reason. I feel like they're just trying to remain positive because they just feel like they don't have much. I also feel like if this person's paying attention to you, they could be seeing that even though you don't have much, that you're still abundant. You're still, you're still happy. Like there's um, a lot going for you and they could be realizing what true abundance is to them. Like it's not just about money and tangible things. So let's see what potential actions they might take towards you. I wanted this to be shorter. Oh, well. All right. So what potential actions? Bad vibes clearing up. So I feel like they're, they're wanting to take steps in the right direction and clear any negative energy between the two of you. So there could be apologies coming in. It's almost like just bringing in clarity. I want to let you know why I said or did blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know. I feel like they just want you in their life. So there is forward movement here. And the energies are clearing between you and them and potentially between them in the past. It's just like letting go of shit that doesn't serve them or you. Um... All right, so what action is this person going to take towards a collective, potentially? For some of you, P.S., I love you. They might write you a letter, or you wrote them one or something. Slipping, time to confront issues, time to make a move. Yeah, this person wants to wants to say something and, and make a move towards you in some sort of way. Um, because they know that they've wasted enough time. They're fearing that they ran out of time. 
For some of you, they did. And then we have unraveling, truth exposed, falling apart. Yeah. Somebody could have found out the truth about the situation, potentially through music. I don't know. I feel like they're listening to music. Music is significant. This person might even send you a song. Um, yeah. I don't know. I feel sad all of a sudden. Loving, passionate, intimacy, and quality time. For some of you, this person wants to come in and speak some type of truth. Like, I can't hold this back anymore. I want to tell you this, that, or the other. And it could be about how they're feeling. Um, why they treated you a certain way. Empty feelings, boring routine. I don't know, because this is very boring. <laughs> this is like, same old shit. This is how I live my life. This is what I do. On repeat. And then, boom, the fireworks show up. And it's like, wow, you're like extreme. <laughs> it feels extreme. So you can be very different than their usual type and expectation. Or you just brought a level of excitement to this person's world. Like, okay, I'm used to... And then, wham, there you are. And you're like, oh, let's do this. And this, like, I don't know, the energy feels very different. So you could have been kind of like in their face, like that type of energy, and they're more like, you're fun and I'm boring. Like, why would you want to hang out with me? I'm boring. Maybe they're feeling that way. But I feel like they don't bore you. They ignored you on purpose. I just heard I would bore you. I don't think they would. Maybe they're realizing that. I don't know. I'm looking at someone as though they're fun and exciting and I'm not. <laughs> That's what that feels like. <clears throat> I do feel like this person wants to spend time with you. They do enjoy spending time with you. Because I never know what to expect is what I just heard. So it's kind of this level of excitement there. Just say it. Um, you are very connected and I feel like this person is recognizing that. So like, are they going to talk to you or... I just heard yes. Yes, I'm going to talk to you. So, someone's preparing to talk to you. Give me more on what actions they're going to take towards the collection. I just heard I want to give you a hug. So, this person might want to talk to you, see you, and give you a hug. And maybe that's wish fulfillment for you. Could be your emperor, an older gentleman. But I feel like this is somebody who's done, they're grown up, they're mature. There's persistence here. I don't want to give up. And then communication. They haven't let go of this. They haven't let go of you, even if you think that they did. Yeah. They want to talk to you. It's like, I'll talk to you if you talk to me. So if they know that, if they think that you'll answer and not push them away, they'll reach out. Yeah, because there's forward movement here. You got to start somewhere. You know what I mean? That's what it just feels like. So this person isn't going to come in and profess their undying love to you. No. I feel like I'm going to rush in and I'm going to tell you a few things that I haven't said before or why I was holding back. Stuff like that. Um, they might need liquid courage to do so. There could be a father involved or they are a father. So there could be issues with baby mama, baby daddy, something like that. Um... <coughs> Or they're holding back because of your father or their father. Um, there could be a problematic dad around. Not necessarily. They could have been holding back because of your babies, your baby daddy. Especially if I'm talking to a female. That yeah, could have been someone that you were dating before. Or they were lied to. And they, or they thought you were dating somebody. They either thought you were dating somebody else or they were lied to about that. Yeah, because then there's a choice between two. I don't know. It's almost like I don't want to be involved in a cheating situation, but there is no cheating situation here. So someone could have been lied to about that. Or they assumed. If nobody lied to them, then they assumed. But this is sneaky shit, so I feel like somebody lied. 
some significance with drinking too. I don't know. This person could be your drinking buddy or they're going to want to talk to you over drinks. This emperor might be a heavy drinker, just saying. Cause I don't know. For some reason, I don't feel like that's your emperor. I feel like that's somebody around that might want to heal things between the two of you. And they could have been part of the blockage. Yeah, and you know it. If that's the case, you know that. You're well aware. It's almost like, how do we bypass this obstacle? So I do feel like somebody wants to come in and say something, definitely. Now that you've walked away. I feel like now that the dust has settled and things have, have calmed down, it's almost like when that mofo moves away or moves on, then I'll come in. Or when you move on from your ex or whatever, or whatever situation you're in, then, then we can talk kind of thing. Um, so someone might be preparing to move on from the past so that they can start something new. But this is all hidden from you, and they do think about you all the time, and this person really wants to talk to you. They want to message you or call you, um, because there is a lot of chemistry between the two of you. And I do feel like there were some messages in the past that were painful to hear or read or see, and it caused a lot of, you know, drama, fights, and arguments and stuff. I just, um, it was a lot of conflict because you had a lot of passion for whoever this is and somebody else was butthurt about it. That's what it feels like. So let's see, what does this person want to say to you? Right quick and little. What does this person want to say to the collective? I am sending you telepathic messages, hoping you'll hear me and reach out. So this person might be trying to get you to contact them so that they don't have to put the footwork in. But I feel like you're not going to do that. They need to do it. Um, they need to take action if they want to speak to you. Gossip is poison and is plaguing the situation. So this person, when they actually do come in and say something to you, they might let you know what people have said about you, about this connection, about them, about the situation in general. Because I do feel like there is some some haterators around who were just sipping tea and causing bullshit you know um and they might be aware of it and want to let you know or you're aware of it and when you talk to them you'll tell them um there's just shit talkers around here it's like petty crap is what it feels like like just shush it i want to make beautiful memories with you yeah so they want to start fresh like, can we start over? I can't stop thinking about you. I already said that. You are so cute when you're mad. <laughs> I was a fool for leaving you. I wish I could turn back time. So this person's feeling a little foolish because they could have believed gossip and stuff. I don't know. I feel like there's a truth coming out. Somebody has something to say. Hopefully they grow a set and say it. Um, the potential is definitely there, but not for all of you. You know what I mean? Um, this person really wants to kiss you, so they're very drawn to you. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. I love you long time. They want to kiss you. 